So I joined this company called Amway, and I had this guy that was my direct distributor. His name was John Walker. And I didn't, I didn't like waking up. And every morning, this guy would call me at 5 a.m. every single morning. And I would pick up the phone, hello. Steve, this is John Walker. How you doing, man? It's gonna be a great day, man. Make sure you live your best life. Click and he'd hang up. The next morning, five o'clock, ring. Hello. Hey, Steve, John Walker, man. Oh man, it's gonna be a great day. Make the best of it. Every day at 5 a.m., this dude called me and every day I gave him the exact same reaction. Bring. Sometimes I'd be aggravated. Hello. Hey, Steve John Walker. How you doing, man? Gonna be a great day. I did not understand this dude, man, calling me every morning with what I thought was some bull So one morning, he called, the phone rang. Bring. I said, hello. He said, hey man, why do you do that? And I said, do what, man? He said, why do you answer the phone like that? I said, man, cause I'm sleeping. He said, hey man, are you where you wanna be in life? I said, no man, I got laid off. He said, why do you answer the phone like that? I said, man, I'm just not a morning person. He said, you're not a morning person. He says, the greatest part of the day he said, you should get up every morning and thank God Almighty that he woke you up this morning and you got the nerve to lay there and be grumpy. He said, man, I thought you were better than that. And he hung that phone up. Boy, let me tell you something. That bothered me all day long because I don't like no man thinking I ain't nothing. It just bugs me to think that there's a man that thinks less of me. So the next morning at 4.30, I'm sitting up on the edge of my bed. I'm waiting on this. You call me, oh, I swear to God, if you call me at five o'clock, that phone rang. Bring. I said, hello, who's this? He said, it's John Walker. I said, it's Steve Harvey, man. I'm having a great day, man. This is the best day of my life, man. He said, that a boy, Steve. Have a great day. I said, you make yours a great day. Click and hung up. Every morning he called me at five o'clock for 30 days in a row after that, and I didn't give a damn every time he called me. I was Captain Happy. I did not know that God was preparing me for something. That was happening when I was 21. 20 years ago, after I had been waking up bubbly, God gave me the biggest radio show in the United States. I have the number one adult contemporary radio show. I talk to nine million people, and you know what I do? I wake them up in the morning. I'm the morning drive man, because when I was 21, a guy taught me that mornings are the best time of the day, and I just practice that every day. So when I got the morning show job, I went to number one immediately because everybody likes waking up with that attitude I got. Because the first thing I do for 12 minutes on the radio show is I tell people the power of God, the power of prayer, the goodness and mercy of having faith. And then I start the radio show. Now people tried to stop me from doing that 12 minutes. The, the people that own the company said, we want to play music when you first come on. I said, no, I'm going to tell the people about faith. They said, you, we have a problem with that. I said, well, you get a new morning, man. Because I told God a long time ago, if you let me make it, when I get there, I'm going to tell everybody it was you.